What's up guys, welcome to your 15th Android app development tutorial. This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. This is the part 4 tutorial of our button series of Android app development tutorial and now in this tutorial guys I'm going to discuss about the another method that is the second method how to handle the button on click listener. Now let's proceed. In the 12th tutorial I showed you what is event handling in Android and related that event handling example with our daily practical life example. So please go back guys and watch out what is event handling stands for. Now I also briefed you about the three methods how to handle the button click. In the last three tutorial guys I discussed implementing on click listener in our action bar activity class. Now in this tutorial guys I am going to discuss the second method using an inner class on click listener inside our action bar activity class or the main activity class. Now let's check out the codes of the XML codes. The XML codes is actually same what we saw in the previous tutorials so no change in that. The ID should be unique, height and width are wrap content and text is click me. So no props at all. Now let's check out our main activity codes. It's a bit different guys. We don't have to implement the on click listener here in our action bar activity. Now this is our main structure. Now let us initialize our button variable. So button space button underscore name you can give a name here. You have to import the function android widget dot button out here. Now complete the initialization process by writing button equal to button find view by id r dot id dot button one now guys how you are gonna handle the button on click listener now this is our set on click listener method that is used to handle the button on click now here guys we have to write button name dot set on click listener then after that all these codes are auto generated you don't have to type all these codes so inside our on click method you have to write what our action that has to be performed when the user clicks the button now this new on click listener is actually an object of the class on click listener that we used to implement here in our previous first method that we discussed right now instead of instead of implementing that interface here you are directly using the object of that on click listener inside our set on click listener so that solves our problem if you're not getting the codes right now guys don't worry about it i'm just going to show you the codes in the eclipse now let's open our eclipse now in the eclipse i have created another project button method 2 i am directly showing the codes guys because many a times i have showed you how to make a application because i am assuming here that you know how to make an application here right now inside our main activity we had we have some codes and inside our activity main.xml we have some codes our relative layout is there and the text view is there now just delete this hello world we don't need it right now now drag and drop a button here right now double click on it just write what first button right change the id like b first right now drag and drop another button below it wherever you want double click on it right second button change it to b second here just remove the plus sign i will tell you later why i am doing this as of now don't worry about this add the rate id slash b first right now in the graphical layout we have the two buttons first button and the second button now i am directly showing you guys how to differentiate between the two buttons in the method 2 so hope you guys don't confuse if you're getting confused then go back and watch out my last three tutorials right now in the main activity let's initialize our button but first right again second right now import the button widget right no errors now complete the initialization but second now right b second right now guys one more thing here guys whenever you make any changes in the activity main.xml or any of the xml file then always remember to save the codes of the xml file right after that go to the java file and do whatever you want now I have to implement an listener right let's write but first dot set on click listener right now here itself I am impl control space now automatically just double click on it 
it will generate a code for you. Now, it will show an error here because the semicolon at the end is missing, right? Just add a semicolon. Now again, it is showing some error. Just hover over it, right? Here you have to import the on click listener android.view.view, right? Now the errors are gone. Now similarly perform the same thing for what? But dot second dot set on click listener new on click listener, right? Now here the codes are again generated. End it with a semicolon, right? Now inside the on click of the but first, let us write a log statement log dot d. Right now, here just copy it and paste it here. Second button was click, right? Semicolon, I just forgot to give here too. Right now, let's save it and run the application. Run configuration again, right? Browse it, button method two, target, yeah, apply, run the application, yeah, strix device. Now our app is running first button here and the second button here. Now let's click on the first button. Yeah, Shrix first button was click. I'm here. I'm using the Shrix filter guys, right? Now when we hit the second button, second button was clicked. First button, second button, second button, first button like this. We're getting the output. Hope you guys got something out of it. So catch you guys in next tutorial. This is Shrix from SmartHerd signing off and please subscribe to my channel and do share my video. Have a nice day. Thank you.